once again. But this is a response video to someone on Twitter I know, Max uh, Mc McClinchy. I don't have the name right in front of me. Sorry if I mis misspelled it. Max McKinley. Listen, you're a great guy. You have all the signatures and all these sports cards, but I have to disagree with you on one thing. I made a post that I personally believe that sports agents deserve to have their place in the Hall of Fame with a bronze bust, just like the players and the coaches and some of the non-players. As a huge opponent of wanting more non-players in the Hall of Fame and more non-players that aren't just coaches, I'd like to make a case for Lee Steinberg to make it into the Pro Football Hall of Fame with his own gold jacket, bronze bust and all. Now, I obviously don't have everything in front of me, but please bear with me. Lee Steinberg, I would say, is the most famous sports owner of the last 50 years. We make a big deal about how owners are able to make money for themselves. But what do the players get? How are the playables able to negotiate a new, a, the best situation for them? How are players able to get the most money at, in their bank account? How are playables able to negotiate new contracts when it comes to free agency, a re-signing, or a trade? Who do they turn to when it comes to that? Well, they're agents. And who's the biggest agent in the business? For many years, it's been the super agent himself, Lee Seinberg. He's so significant that for the NFL's 100th anniversary, he was listed as like the number 70 or something like that for greatest game changers. And you know, if Amy Trask is someone who is a semifinalist recently for the Hall, and I think Amy absolutely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. But I also don't believe that Lee also deserves to be in the Hall too. And he was ranked higher than Amy. Now you could say, oh, it's not what the game should be about. Well, actually, it is what the game's about. It is what the game's about. Yeah, it's about those players, but you need to also understand it's a business, too. Lee Steinberg is so significant that they made Jerry Maguire based off of him. That's right. That Jerry Maguire. That movie. The character that Tom Cruise played in that movie is heavily based off of Lee Steinberg. In fact, he even took a picture with Cuba Gooding Jr. and Tom Cruise back in 1997 when the movie got released. He even still has a photo of it in his office. I know because I was there on my interview with him with Zenny about the Oakland A's moving to Las Vegas. He has been the agent for numerous Hall of Famers, numerous number one overall picks, numerous first round picks, numerous MVPs. Again, the, he didn't just do it just because, oh, he's just the guy. No, he 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 is. He is a great agent. He really is. He is a super agent for a reason. And he's the reason as to why so many players are able to negotiate more money. And I think that's a big reason why Lee deserves a bronze bust. And who cares if he has a... Why does it matter if he has a bronze bust next to like Bronco Nogurski or whatever? Do you think Bronco Nogurski's family is going to really care that much? Are they going to be slighted by that? Why would you be afraid of that? Who cares? The Hall's a business. And this guy, Lee Steinberg helped make the league and these players more profitable in which they are able to give money for the next generation of their families. So that's not Hall of Fame worthy to you? It absolutely is to me. We talk about how much the owner is able to get money for themselves, and they deserve it as well. But these agents did it for the players. The players don't know how to negotiate this stuff. They're not equipped with business or money management. No, no. They're there because they need the best outcome financially for their family a lot of the times. But who is the person that's able to put them in their situations? The best outcome. It's the agents generally. Yeah, of course, you're going to have some agents that screw them over or whatnot. But that's going to happen. You're always going to find people that are going to screw the other person people over. But there is no greater agent for like football in particular than Lee Steinberg. Plain and simple. That's my case. Do I think he's going to make the Hall of Fame? Right now, no. Mostly because, unfortunately, so many people that run Canton only put one non-player per year. And I think that's preposterous. Because those 25 names that were listed as semifinalists 
All 25 of them are all, actually I think the back, I think there was 29 this past year. Now, all 29 of them are Hall of Famers, easily. No question in my eyes. Yeah, obviously some people are gonna have different rankings, but I think Lee is also deserving that list, along with people like Wilfred Winkenbach, you know, Odie Thompson, you know, Chris Berman, Howard Cosell, all those guys deserve bronze busts. It's criminal that they don't, and it's a real shame. Um, Lee Steinberg absolutely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame, plain and simple. And I've listed more stuff out, but that's my little soapbox for the six minutes. But thanks, guys, so much for watching. Lee, if you're watching this, don't forget, I think you're a Hall of Famer. You deserve to make it there. I don't care what these other people say. You deserve a bronze bust in Canton. You deserve a gold jacket just like the people you made into gold jackets. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Subscribe to NA62 for more like videos like this. And make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Peace out, guys.